Okay, so welcome to this super quick overview of how the accounting spreadsheet works. This is the ledgers tab that contains a, a bunch of ledgers or accounts which are suited to the operations of this particular business. And I'm going to go ahead and show you how to enter a new double entry transaction and then check that the ledgers and the balance sheet still balances. So before we begin each new entry of a transaction, we should check that debits and credits balance. And we can see from the cell over here that they do. We should also click the update ledger refs button to check that the balance sheet still balances and it does. So we can go ahead and enter our new transaction. So I'm going to assume that we purchased some paper on January 25th. So assuming we use the debit card, I'm going to jump up to the bank account. I'm going to enter in the date and the description over here. And then I'm going to enter in the amount, which I'm going to assume that the paper cost $7.56. And I'm going to enter it as a negative because the money was going out of the bank account. We see then that a $7.56 amount is entered in the credit column. We also see now that debits and credits do not uh, balance, which is what we expect because we've only just entered in one half of the double entry transaction. And indeed, if we update the balance sheet, we'll see as well that the balance sheet right now doesn't balance. But that's what, what we expect because we've just only entered one half of this double entry transaction. So we use the double enter button to go ahead and enter the second half of the double entry transaction. It'll be in the stationary account. Expenses of stationery are going up by $7.56, so we enter it as a positive. We click the Go button. The feedback form pops up, and that looks good. Debits and credits balance, so we will send the data to the ledgers. And this is feedback here if you want to look at it. We do that. We can see now debits and credits balance. And if we update the ledger refs, we'll see that the balance sheet balances. And if we did want to look at the other half of the double entry transaction, because of course this is the bank account, but if we wanted to, we could jump down using the go to row button to see our second half of the double entry transaction in the stationary account. All right, so through the description below, you'll see that there are three more videos. There's a 17 minute overview video, which goes into more detail than this video. There's a video that explains the accounting principles relevant to the spreadsheet, and there's a detailed overview of how to use the spreadsheet. That video is about an hour and a half long, and it uh, gives a very detailed description of how to use the spreadsheet.